the dearth of racing in the last year, and the hunger for getting to grips with each other saw seven top professional teams join the 200 or so amateur riders on the four-day journey to Nature's Valley. The first 20 k's of day one was seriously fun as they snaked through the superb purpose-built trails of three rivers at Crossways. The Particles Dairy Farmlands is perfect terrain for wonderful trails. Amy McDougall and Jenny Stenerhoff were the leading women's team. Matt Beers and Vessel Buerta of Team Type Dev Nanotime opened an early lead on Buko Giants Marco Huber and Rudy Kuhn. The solo category had a few big hitters, Jason Bierkes being among them. Diaz and Buerta reached the Chamtours River Crossing with a nearly two-minute lead. Team DSV, Jarkans von Rensberg and Nicole Carstens were chasing hard. Van Kuhn had Bierkes for company as he tried to distance himself from his solo rival, Nico Bell. As the kilometers ticked by, so the Mbuko Giant pair and Bukas of Paga Eurostil began closing the gap to Beers and Buerta. Having lost their solo companion Bell, DSV were holding on to third place in the team category. Beers and Buerta hammered away up ahead on the loose gravel roads. Robert Hobson and Rousseau Beck of Titan Racing were holding on to fourth place. Riders taking strain at the tail end of what was the longest stage of the race at 82 kilometers, the Prudential Boost Bar, 8Ks from the finish in Humansdorp, was a final chance to take on a little caffeine shot. Entering the rugby club, Matthijs Bierkes had a small lead over the charging quartet of riders dicing it out in the team race. He was first to cross the line in 2 hours 58 minutes and 11 seconds. Just behind him, Beers led out Buerta, but it was the Ibuko giant pair of Yuban Kun who took line honours by millimetres. It's so, Achman, it's just really good racing, it's good seeing everyone again, good to open the pipes again for a bit. Um, it's a shock to the system, i got to say. I struggled the last 10 days, but yeah, it's good to get going again, and thanks for Prudential Beach Bled for hosting this, it's really cool. And I'm super happy to be here. Fair tree motor leases Jenny Stenerhach and Amy McDougall were comfortable winners of the women's race. Tracy Campbell took solo women's honours, and Ben Melt and Yolandi Sornapur won the mixed race. It's a spectacular morning here in Humansdorp as day two beckons on the Prudential PE plate. 67 k's around 1,000 meters of climbing. The riders are heading away from the ocean, if you like, towards the Langkloof. Carriado is the area they're heading to, and Asachaibosch. The racing is going to be red hot because there's less than a second between the top two teams with Matthijs Beck as the solo leader ahead of Nico Bell. And in the teams, it is the Mbuko Giant pair who lead the Type Dev Nano Time pair, and it's going to be red hot all the way through the racing. It was clear the top teams had whetted their appetites for racing and were keen for more as they headed for the mountains. Women's leaders McDougall and Stenerhach of Fairtree Motorlease were in the race leaders' red jerseys. Team Garmin, the Swanepoels, Ben Malt and Yolandi in the purple mixed race leaders jerseys. But Tace Björk as a Paga Eurostil was the wearer of the grey solo leaders jersey. Buko Giant Bear, Rudy Kuhn and Marco Hubert in the overall race leaders jerseys.
tussle between the leading two teams was intense, with little opportunity for either combination to gain significant time. It was a game of cat and mouse for much of the stage, which despite its short distance, was a true test of strength and skill. This terrain out here, you're constantly on the pedals, so even though it's 60 something k's, it's, it's hard going on your legs, much like pioneer type racing. Google and Stenerhoek were riding their first stage race together as they prepare for a number of international races later in the year. Stenerhoek is the reigning Swedish national champion. As they closed in on Asakai Bosch near Carriedo, the lead group was down to four riders. Nano Time and Imbuko Giant were again winding up for a sprint finish. This time there were no mistakes for Beers and Boerte as they held off Joubert and Kun to take the win and the overall lead by less than half a second. It was two out of two for the Fair Tree Motor Lease pair in the women's race and for Team Garmin in the mixed. Two days down, two to go at the Prudential PE Plet and today, the Queen stage, because it's 61 k's, about 1,350 meters of climbing as we head from Carriedo back over the mountains and finish at Titsikama Lodge. It's going to be a spectacular day, as have the first two, a special day riding for the 200 riders making their way down to Titsikama. The race is absolutely cooking because there's less than a second between the leading two teams and it's going to be dogfight all the way to the finish and a really spectacular day on the trails. A truly stunning morning for the riders as they rolled away from the start. The first five kilometers was a sharp reminder that there is very little flat terrain in these parts. A long, gradual climb up to the King of the Mountains was the day's hors d'oeuvre. Mark Ackerman and Peter Ryder celebrated cresting the summit. Up ahead, the leaders are on the tar heading back over the Carriado Mountains. Hubert and Kuhn were alternating the workload in second place. And Beers and Boerte were in familiar formation. picturesque route took them on a meander through the Ragain Protea farm. MTO's coastal forests were next up to offer some stunning riding. The top contenders were all back together once more in the forest. Through the indigenous forest, Nano Time and DSV managed to open a small gap to Imbuco Giant. For some, the routes proved a little tricky to handle. Sensing a chance to pull back time on second place, DSV joined Nano Time in the lead group as they headed towards the stunning Robberhook trails on the edge of the ocean. By far the most scenic route today. Actually incredible, almost crashed when we saw the ocean and the views were just incredible. So um, yeah, and a nice day to do it as well. Perfect weather, nice group to ride with and uh, best of teammates, so all good. The leading quartet flashed through the second water point at 45 k's. They were holding nothing back. The top teams averaged between 27 and 29 kilometers an hour for the entire race. Ultimately, Nanotime just pipped DSV for victory at the Titsikama Forest Lodge with Imbuco Giant in third place. Tace Birkus won the solar race, McDougall and Stinach reigned supreme in the women. It was a truly stunning morning's ride and all the riders all the way through the field finished on a high.
the buzz of activity ahead of the final day of the Prudential PE Plate. It's a breezy morning here at the Titicamba Forest Lodge as the riders prepare for 67 k's, just over a thousand meters of climbing. There's work to be done today as they head down to the finish at Nature's Valley. It was smiles all round as they set off on the final day. After nearly a year away from stage racing, the vibe and camaraderie was electric as the riders made their way towards Nature's Valley. The first test of the day came on the old Storms River Pass. Not too steep, but a long drag up to the King of the Mountains at the top, which went to Beerkus today, after Beers had taken it on the first three days. Small groups surged through the Storms River Village. Partridge Chimwendo from Three Rivers Trails showing his skills. They slipped under the busy N2 highway via the Kleinbors River Bridge. Team Insect Science of CPF and Vake and Alan Gordon were in a fight for fourth place with the Valley Electrical Titan Racing Pair. Just one of many races within the race that unfolded over the three days as riders relished the opportunity to test themselves, their partners and their rivals over four spectacular days of racing along the beautiful Eastern Cape coastline. The ninth edition of the Prudential PE Plate delivered on every level, both on and off the bike. Marco Hubert showing his fine skills on the pig's head descent, part of the famed Otter Trail, before they hit the beach and headed for the finish. Well, it's been a long time coming, the finish line of a stage race, but we've done it at the Prudential PE Plate has concluded here at Nature's Valley, having started at Crossways four days ago. A stage win today and the overall win for Team Type Dev Nano Times, Matt Beers and Vessel Boerter. Yeah, I mean, we knew it would be very hard to get away, so it was all going to be down to the, the, the run into the descent. So, yeah, um, everyone was going quite crazy and yeah, we managed to get in between the Mbuko guys and um, I think Rudy dropped his chain on the lead-in and uh, we capitalised on that and yeah, they, were, they raced really well and yeah, happy to pull off the win. And of course the women's race taken by Amy McDougall and uh, her partner Jenny Stenerhoff of Fairtree Motor Lease. But every single rider who's finished this event will feel justifiably proud. It's a tough ride, but they've concluded it in spectacular fashion here in Nature's Valley. Where do we go to from here? Nine down, one to go. Next year's our 10th one. Next year we start at Curland and we start heading all the way back to Portals again on some new tracks that we've discovered. So look forward to seeing you all back here for a plet to pee.